Russia is tracking down and detaining Russian deserters fleeing war abroad, the Wall Street Journal reports. It is noted that two and a half years of the war unleashed against Ukraine have literally devastated the professional army of Russia. The seriousness of the shortage of soldiers was revealed by the operation of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region. Russia has not been able to return its territories, even after the withdrawal part of its forces from Ukraine, the publication writes. It is noted that due to the colossal losses in Ukraine, Russia used aggressive measures throughout the war to try to maintain the size of its army. In particular, the Russian Federation has stepped up its campaign to punish draft dodgers and track down those who have left the country. The UN Special Rapporteur on the Russian Federation, Mariana Gazarova, stated that the Russian authorities are effectively involved in the kidnapping of deserters abroad. According to the WSJ, about 50,000 Russians have deserted or refused orders to fight. Russian lawyers say the numbers are much higher, as many are quietly coaxed to return by promises of lenient treatment or threats to their families in Russia. In 2022, Russia passed new laws toughening penalties for desertion and disobedience, including up to 15 years in prison and confiscation of property. According to court statistics, authorities have opened more than 10,000 criminal cases on such charges, the publication says. Private military companies often referred to by the West as mercenary organizations and Storm Z units, which are described as penal military formations, have the highest levels of desertion, Russian independent outlet The Insider reported in late May. Moscow has relied on these fighters for some of the bloodiest fighting in the most intense areas of the front lines in Ukraine. Verstka, an independent Russian news outlet that was founded shortly after the Ukraine war began, said in an investigation that hundreds of Russians who refuse to fight in Ukraine are being forcibly deployed to the battlefield. Some are held at gunpoint and are physically abused or detained if they resist. Verstka's investigation said that Russian authorities may be pivoting away from prosecuting military deserters and cancelling their trials to redeploy them to the front lines in Ukraine in an attempt to boost the army's power in the war. The FBI and U.S. intelligence agencies have confirmed Iran was responsible for recent attempted hacks into the Trump and Biden-Harris presidential campaigns, the agencies said in a joint statement. We have observed increasingly aggressive Iranian activity during this election cycle, said a statement by the FBI, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence and the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which oversees the defense of government computer systems. This includes the recently reported activities to compromise former President Trump's campaign, which the attributes to Iran, they said. The hacking and similar activities, 
federal officials said, reflect Iran's determination to complicate the ability of any U.S. administration to pursue a foreign policy at odds with its own interests. The goal is to sow discord, weaken faith in democratic institutions and influence the outcome of elections that Iran perceives to be particularly consequential in terms of the impact they could have on its national security interests, officials said. Iran, the U.S. statement said, had also targeted the campaign of Harris, who will formally accept the Democratic Party's presidential nomination at this week's convention. Iran's mission to the United Nations issued a statement calling the allegations unsubstantiated and devoid of any standing and challenged Washington to release evidence for the claim. As we have previously announced, the Islamic Republic of Iran harbors neither the intention or the motive to interfere with the U.S. presidential election, the mission said. The statement was released at a time of significant tensions between Washington and Tehran as the U.S. hopes to halt or limit a threatened threatened retaliatory strike on Israel over the assassination of Hamas official Ismail Haniyeh.